Chuck. Yeah. Mercury is in retrograde again. <laughs> but unless you're like a time traveler from a pre scientific era. Right. Which is most of human history. Yes. You got nothing to worry about. Okay. I'm just saying. I don't have to worry that everything, nothing's going to work now. Mercury's in retrograde. Nothing in my life is going to work. Before we understood the solar system, right? Earth was deeply believed to be in the center of all motion. Right. The universe was just as it appeared to us. Exactly. No one thought to question it, that it may be deceiving us simply because of our actual position among the planets, stars, and galaxies. Okay. So if you're in the middle of everything, everything goes around you. Ooh, yes. <laughs> and there were seven objects that moved around us that appeared to move against the background stars. Right. And those seven objects were Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, the sun, and the moon. Right. Those are the only seven known objects that moved around the Earth. And we thought that was all because of us. <laughs> Look at this. Why, why wouldn't you think that? That's true. You're sitting here on it Earth. it is going around it's, you. It rises and says, our vocabulary today still captures that fact. Mm, that boy thinks the, the sun rises and sets <laughs> in you, girl. Right, yeah. right, right. And we keep that vocabulary because it's easy. It's better than saying Earth has just rotated such that our sight line to the sun has it emerge over the horizon. That's, nobody says that. We yeah. just say, the sun just rose. Right. Sensibly and simply. But if you go back into that time, and you're watching it, and you think everything's going around you, right. and then you see Mercury moving like everybody else, and then it slows down, stops, and then goes backwards. That's some freaky stuff. That is freaky. That's freaky stuff. Yeah. And for a period of time, it moves backwards against the background stars, and then it slows down, stops, and then goes forward again. And oh. Yeah. Now, if you believe the universe had control over you, then these are problem times. Yes. This You worry about this. I got to change my life. And so if we needed the methods and tools of science to figure this out. Right. And how did that go? Well, once you realize that Earth is just one among all the other objects going around the sun, okay? Once you realize that, think about it. If something is closer to the sun than you are. Right. And by the way, those objects move faster than you do. Okay. So which planet would move the fastest? Uh, the one that's closest to the sun. Which is? Mercury. Mercury. Right. Mercury and Roman God, my boy had wings on his oh, feet. Oh, that's right. He's fast. Yeah. They knew. That's right. He's fast. They knew the deal. Okay, he knew the deal. So watch. So there we are watching Mercury go around. We're going around the sun too, but Mercury's doing it faster. So it, it's moving like from the left to the right in our field of view. But then it has, has to go around the backside of the sun. Right. How's it going to do that? It's going to switch directions in the sky. Right. And then continue as it had before. So depending on the sight line between Earth and Mercury, it'll appear to go backwards, but nothing is going backwards. Let's say you're at a car race. All right. You're at NASCAR. And there they are driving around. When they're near you, they're going left to right. Right. When they go around to the other side of the track, they're, they're going, going from right, right to left. left. The cars are all in retrograde. So no one is freaking out when you see the car right. on the other side of the track going right to the left. That's retrograde. And that's it. That's what people are saying that's about Mercury. That's what you're seeing in Mercury they, when they you look at that somehow that has a bad effect on you. What we call the inner planets, which is Mercury and Venus, they go through this sort of retrograde more frequently than outer planets. Right. Okay? Outer ones would be Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and, and, and the like. Given the configuration of this sort of racetrack around the sun, right. everybody will spend some time going into retrograde to everybody else. So relative to one another, everybody goes into Somebody's retrograde. Somebody's going into retrograde. Somebody's doing it. Somebody's doing it. And even the outer planets to us, we'll see them go into retrograde because we're the ones Going, going around, around the, the sun track. and switching direction. There you go. 
And so it'll look like to us, our line of sight to them right. sends them going backwards. You know, I'm picking up a theme here. What's that? Uh, don't say something is in retrograde and that's why your life is bad because it makes you sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, there's always somebody in and retrograde. Somebody's always in retrograde. <laughs> you ain't special. <laughs> so basically, everybody spends some time doing retrograde, but nothing is actually moving backwards. And the fact that there's a word for it, retrograde. Mm, sounds serious. Sounds serious. It sounds like, oh my gosh, we need not only a word for that, we need to worry about it. Right, right, yeah. But if you had known from the beginning that Earth was not the center of all motion. Right. This becomes a trivial explanation of all objects moving in the same direction around the sun, just some moving at different speeds than others. So it's not all about you, Earth. It's not about you. So think about it. In the future, we might have colonies on Mars. Yes. If we're on Mars, then Earth is an inner planet. Right. So you're on Mars, you're going to see Earth. Do some retrograde. Oh, man, I lost my keys. Earth is in retrograde. <laughs> you lost your Martian keys? I lost my Martian <laughs> keys. <laughs> so it's just a matter of your point of view on what is a very normal, regular system of motion. Mm -hmm. Planets orbiting a host star. Okay, so I get all that. Yeah. Here's what I need to know. Yes. What does that mean for Sagittarius? <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm a Sag. Okay. If it goes in retrograde while it's in Sag Sagittarius? Right. Oh, my gosh. That means nothing. <laughs> 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 no, the thing is, Mer Mercury goes through retrograde, you know, a couple of times a year. Mercury's mm -hmm. orbit around the sun is like 88 days, okay? So this happens a few times a year, you know, with some frequency that... Generally, something's going to go wrong this year for you. Exactly. Okay. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> We're talking about me here. <laughs> now, if, if Mercury doesn't happen to be in retrograde, it's just something went wrong with you. Right. If you have something to blame it on, mm -hmm. then you do. Then you do. Yeah. Right. That's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. And even if you know today mm -hmm. it's not moving backwards, but you want to sort of pay respects to a pre-scientific era, do so knowing that they had no idea what they were looking at. Right. And that infused an entire system of control over your life. Because it feels good. It, well, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it relieves you of your accountability. Right, you don't have any responsibility. Blame the universe. Yeah, I could just blame the stars. Stupid Mercury. <laughs> so I got to end with a quote from the bard. Mm -hmm. Julius okay. Caesar. Julius Caesar. The fault, dear Brutus. Uh-huh. Lies not in the stars, but in ourselves. Ooh, I thought it was Brutus, you traitorous son of a. <laughs> that, too, that comes. Oh, that comes later. That comes, that comes later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you have it, Chuck. No, that's great. We're just putting that in line. That's awesome. All right. Once again, this has been Star Talk. Neil deGrasse Tyson, my co-host Chuck Nice. As always, keep looking up.